good. Don't forget to brand new Blu-ray unboxing video this time. We got Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So let's just open it up, boys. Y'all saw my review. Y'all know I fucking adored this movie. All-time favorite MCU movie. My favorite movie of the year so far. Looks like Avatar 2 will probably, or Avatar Way of Water will end up taking that spot. But for the time being, it is Doctor Strange. Open this damn thing. There we go. Got it. Took a second, but we got it open, boys. Alright, hold on. There we go. Perfection, bro. Perfection. Look at it. Check it out. Yeah, boy. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, but yeah, guys, here is the front. I get the goddamn glare out of the way. But uh, yeah, there's the front, guys. <laughs> yep, there's you. Watch <laughs> the camera. And here is the back. Yep. Alright, what's in this? What do we got here? Uh, constructing the multiverse, method of the madness, Marvel crew members describe the way the film, why the film is uniquely Sam Raimi, introducing America Chavez, gag reel of the lead season, audio commentary with Sam Raimi. Very nice. Very nice. Alright. I might actually watch that audio commentary low key. Alright. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me take it off this way. Okay, yeah, once again, no blue. That sucks. I wish they still put that like, thing on him, just so I can just at least to stay on uh, perfectly. But uh, yeah. So once again, here is. I can get this thing to sit. And here is the back. Yep. Alright. And what do we got with that? The back is just uh, Wanda. Which, speaking of Wanda, y'all know that she should be the one that should win Best, act, uh, best uh, Supporting Actress of the Oscars this year, but we all know she ain't getting shit. Because fuck the MCU. And as always, guys, here is your digital code. Yep, there you guys go. Enjoy your free copy of Multiverse of Madness. But uh, yeah, let's take the disc out. Here is the 4K disc with Doctor Strange. They actually, they actually didn't skimp on the Blu-ray art this time, which is actually pretty cool. They usually do with the Disney. They usually skimp out on the Blu-ray. They usually don't put disc art on both of them. Oh, this one has Atmos on it. That's cool. Hey, I'm trying to cut surprise. I'm pretty sure this is the first Blu-ray I own that actually has Atmos. Like pre installed on the disc, I guess. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me see if I can find the Batman real quick so I can uh, show. Let me just so I can check. Hold on. I don't remember where I put it. Morbius. Ah! Yeah, there's no Atmos on this one. Yeah, Dolby Visional on the 4K disc, the Blu-ray, yeah, the Blu-ray disc does not have anything about Dolby Atmos on it. So yeah, this is the first Blu-ray I own that has a Dolby Atmos on it. Because I'm pretty sure, even though the version on HBO Max I know how, I think I'm pretty sure HBO Max has Atmos on it. But yeah, that's actually really cool. <laughs> I got a Blu-ray with Adobe Atmos, I guess, pre-installed on it, I guess. I don't really know how that works, but yeah, that's cool. Got an Atmos. First Blu-ray on with that. But, and also, hey, this actually has the things on them, which the Batman Steelbook didn't, so... Thank you, Best Buy, for putting those on. Don't know why you didn't put them on for the Batman. But whatever. Anyway, here is the interior artwork. The Doctor Strange statue we saw in the movie. 
and uh, Wanda, which I believe this was actually when she got American Chavez and all that shit. But uh, yeah, phenomenal steelbook, man. Pretty cool. This actually has Atmos on it. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. And I love they didn't skimp out on the disc art for both the Blu-ray and the 4K release. You always love to see that because they usually they do kind of skimp on that one, at least for most. Because I'm pretty sure that's what happened with Shang-Chi uh, when I got with the 4K version of Shang-Chi. But, uh, yeah, man. That is... There we go. <laughs> a little concerned there. But, yeah, that is... Oh, and here's the spine. I guess I didn't show you guys that part. But, uh, yeah. Here's a steelbook, man. Looks amazing as always, man. Y'all know I'm a sucker for steelbooks. And, uh, yeah. Also, guys, this will, guys, will probably be the last unbox, Blu-ray unbox you guys are going to be getting uh, for the time being because, you know, it's uh, we're getting near the end of July. School's going to be starting soon, although you guys are going to be getting a steelbook unboxing of Hero Walk, a World Heroes Mission. I did pre-order the steelbook for that one. However... I, however, I am not going to be able to unbox it until I get back home because it comes out um, after I'm already back at school. So you guys will not begin that unboxing until December once I get back. So when I get back, then I'll unbox that one for you guys. And of course, I'll watch it and give you guys my review. Although by that point, hopefully, if, I, hopefully if everything goes well, my reviews for the first two Hero Walker movies would have already been up by that point. Because I do want, because I am planning on watching them this summer and finally getting those reviews out for you guys. So yeah. So yeah. Ultiverse of Madness, man. I finally have it in my collection. My big three comic book movies is finally all complete. And my big three recent comic movies are now all complete in Glorious Steelbook, No Way Home, The Batman, and of course, Multiverse of Madness, man. So yeah, once again, here's another look at it, guys. What's the thing? Badass, badass, badass. And yeah, man, let's go this video off. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you feel like it, links in the description box below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.